Hi, we're here at the first annual donut tasting competition, something along those lines. Something along those lines, Blaine. It's the 2019 Asheville Donut Throwdown and Bake Sale. Okay, and we're here with Stu Helm, who had the idea for this. And Stu, what's this all about? Uh, we're having a competition, a good old-fashioned food competition. Three judges judging uh, 12 different donuts and announcing the winner, uh, who will be crowned the best donut maker in Asheville. Uh, it's also a bake sale, so the public was invited to come and buy donuts. How did you come up with the idea? Uh, not a new idea, just a, another take on uh, food competitions, of which we have many in town, and I was doing some of them, uh, pimento cheese, mac and cheese, things like that, and the public said, how about a donut competition? So. And I know I was at the cooking one, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. But the thing that's so unique about this, Stu, how did you get so many people here? How did so? Why, how, how did, did get so many people here to show up? Yeah, uh, promoting, Blaine, promotion, promotion, promotion. It's what I do for a living. Uh, did it. There were lots of people. Lots of people. We sold out of donuts right away, which was the plan. How many uh, uh, people? How many uh, merchants were in this? Six uh, competitors. Two different. Uh, I, hang on one minute, Blaine. Okay, as we're holding on, I'd like to introduce you to just one of the um, people at the event today, and you are... I'm Deborah Dejanet. Hey, Deborah, thanks for coming. Um, what's your reaction to this competition? It was so much fun. I mean, who doesn't like donuts? They're delicious. They're the best in Asheville. Uh, I'll be here every year. Well, I admire you because what you did was great. You got a whole bunch of donuts, but you did the smart thing. You didn't eat all of them. No. Yeah. There was no way I could. My husband's going to get some. Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, if he's watching, we, we better not tell him that. We better not tell him you got, what, 48 donuts or something. <laughs> and, and you come with, uh, you come with, uh, you bring home two. Yes. That, that's yes. That's the idea. And um, you mentioned, how did you hear about this event? Well, um, Actually, I'm fr uh, on Facebook. I'm friends with with Stu Helm, and I see all of the food throwdowns that he posts. I was here for the pizza, missed the mac and cheese, but I, I didn't want to miss the donut. So that's why I'm here. Did you come to the cooking one? Oh, I'm I, I'm I'm at most of them. <laughs> okay, well, have fun. And certainly, if you come to one of these, you're not going to go away hungry. Definitely not. I'm. In fact, I took a couple of bites of five different donuts and I'm taking almost all of them back. Well, maybe as you're waiting for Sue to come back and I'll interview his mom in a second, just show us, can you show us some of the donuts, how good they look? Okay, well how about this right here? Okay. Well, oh, this is one of our favorites. This is the French toast. Wow. Absolutely wow. delicious. Can you imagine? Oh. From Vortex. It was <laughs> delicious. Yeah. This is the Boston cream pie from Geraldine's. Very nice filling. Delicious. And this is a nutter. A fluffer nutter. A fluffer nutter. Pee pee and J. Very good. I mean, there were, there were, you know, what, about maybe 15 different types, 10 different types, so... Uh, well, the nice thing, too, about them, you and I were talking uh, before, they're all dietetic, is that correct? Yes, I wish. Is it, the, the more you, you eat, the less you, uh, calories you have. And we, the more you well, then I had zero calories. Right, and I just want to say hello to... We also are, are pleased to be with Stu's mom here. Yes. And Stu's mom, no. your name is? Nancy Helm Estabrooks. Okay, and the question I have to ask you, was Stu always a foodie, or how did he get this love of food? Well, Stu was always an artist. He started drawing as soon as he could hold a crayon or pencil. And he was an artist up until really a few years ago, and he started reviewing food just for his friends on Facebook. And slowly, he has his whole new gig. So the family's quite amazed at how he's uh, changed from being a full-time illustrator, graphic artist, to really a full-time food person. And put on the spot, I don't know if you know it, but do you know his um, the Facebook page for his uh, food information? Yes. And that is? Uh, the, the Asheville Food Fan. Asheville Food? Food Fan. Okay. Great site. If you want to know anything about food, uh, that's the place to go. So anyway, I'd like to thank you for, for giving us Stu here and for being here today. And thank you for being here on Facebook Live. Well, thank you. Okay, great. And with that in mind, I'll tell you just follow Stu's 
uh, page on Facebook. You're going to love it. You'll see too, I'll just take a couple more pictures here as we're walking around. You see that um, Sue put together a um, very professional group of uh, judges and um, they've been eating donuts all day. We also have um, Sue's coming back on the you guys ready for your picture. final yeah. This is Simon, he's going to offer a final um, donut day. We should also mention even WPVM is here. The WPVM is one of the media sponsors. That's Devine Johnson and she, Devine uh, Dial, excuse me. And she's um, the president of uh, the station and glad to see you, Devine. And um, I'm sure what? I'm sure what? I can't hear you, so if you ask me. Okay, I'm just, I'm just talking. Devine said she can't hear me, but thanks for coming on board today. And we'll see you back on Facebook Live. Thanks for watching, folks.